Well, we all have a teacher who we will never forget, the one that made a difference inside and outside the classroom. Yeah, for some students at New Smyrna Beach High School, that was substitute teacher Culver Revel. The 84-year-old died after collapsing on his way to class. News 6's Amanda Castro found out Revel was a family man who was always smiling and died doing what he loved. At 84 years old, we're told Mr. Ravel showed up to work every day with a smile on his face, lunchbox in his hand, and a passion to teach. Students and staff say they're going to miss him deeply, while his family says they find comfort knowing he passed away doing what he loved. He enjoyed every day of it, always was here bright and early, always happy to help the students. Students at New Smyrna Beach High School remembering substitute teacher Culver Ravel, who they affectionately called Grandpa. Everyone across campus knew the 84 year old who showed up to school every day ready to teach. He was a very kind man who cared very much about every single student that he dealt with and always had the right intentions for every single student. Ravel came into work Tuesday morning like any other day, but school administrators say he collapsed right after classes started. He was uh, trying to get to his first period class and the bell had just rang and it just looked like he was struggling to get to the class. And the one thing I can tell you is that our students uh, were surrounding him as he was having trouble. Ravel's family tells us he passed away from heart problems. Assistant Principal Julian Doster says the substitute teacher was beloved and respected by the students, adding the job could be tough, but Ravel loved what he did. It's not easy to do it at any age, but at 84 years old, if you're still showing up to a high school and you're spending all that time around these young adults, uh, then that says a lot about, about your passion for being here. And he was definitely passionate about being here with our students. In New Smyrna Beach, Amanda Castro, News 6.